good afternoon and it is Wednesday, March the 2nd, 2022. It's my Jeep update and I haven't done anything today. It's a little after hey, four. Hey, Bob, you it's, don't uh, do too uh, much, do you, boy? now and dinner time, uh, what I'm going to try to do is uh, I'll keep getting the code. It's been intermittent. Uh, P0138 and when I looked it up it said uh, O2 sensor bank 1 sensor 2 so uh, we were out shopping today stopped at O'Reilly's and I got one and I'm going to attempt to replace it anyway uh, if this goes well I will uh, get back with you on an update the upstream have been replaced and the company I bought the original O2 sensors from is a set of four. They sent me the wrong downstream. So anyway, uh, I'll get back with you with any progress made in my Jeep out. Good evening, my Jeep update. This is a uh, real quick one. Uh, I've been working on the Jeep for the last couple of hours. Uh, I put in a new uh, O2 sensor, is uh, Bank 1 Sensor 2, brand new. And uh, I put some loom on some of the exposed wiring underneath there. And anyway, I got it running. And I got the air filter up there. Uh, yeah, I'm just experimenting. Now, I think I covered this earlier. The first start of the day when it's cold, uh, when it starts up, there's a loud swooshing noise and it's sucking a lot of air right here. And then after, uh, it's probably less than a minute, it, uh, and the engine's running a little rough and it smooths out and the noise go, goes away and it's running pretty smooth. It does that every time when it's cold. Now, with all the work I've done on it, all the changes, it may be because I don't have the air cleaner and uh, air box and all that on there. I'm not really sure. I've been looking for uh, vacuum leaks too. Uh, I haven't found any. Uh, there's a lot of hoses on here uh, and a lot of them old. So that could be a problem too. Anyway, I don't have any engine lights. Uh, everything is clear right now, but when I put my uh, scanner on it, it's still showing some old codes. It's showing some uh, CAT uh, O2 sensor. Now those may have been old codes, uh, and I did clear them, uh, but they're still in the scanner, so I don't know. Uh, I'm not much on those scanners. Uh, I need to update my software, and uh, I think I'm gonna borrow my neighbor's. Uh, he's got a uh, a newer scanner uh, that'll probably give me better information. This is an older scanner, and it needs to be updated. So anyway, uh, but you, as you can see, I don't have no engine lights, and it's not running great. I still feel, to me, it feels like there's a misfire. It just don't feel as smooth. Of course, this is over 200,000 miles. I don't know. It could have other problems. And see, it hesitates. Of course, uh, again, the air box is not on there. I don't know if you didn't hear that. You know, it, I don't know what's causing that. But anyway, uh, something else I'll have to check out because uh, it ran a lot better than that before I, I tore into it. So anyway, that's my Jeep update. That's Wednesday, March 2nd, and I'll probably go ahead and put this video out because I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm getting prepared for a test drive probably towards the end of the week. That's my Jeep out for now.
Hey, not showing any code. Lights off. Billy Bob, Billy Bob, I'm sorry what I did, boy. Don't let that thing get me. Don't let it get me, boy. <laughs>